me in a bolt of lightning Send me on my way still smiling Maybe that's the way I should go Straight into the mouth of the unknown I left the spare key on the table I never really thought I'd be able to Say I merely visit on the weekend I lost my whole life and a dear friend I've said it so many times Wes, the division title is secure, but the North is not enough. Packers-Lions, it's time for Final Thoughts. Well, now that we're done with product promos, Wes, what's at stake? Well, the North truly is not enough for the Green Bay Packers right now, Mike. They want a first round bye. In order to do it, they need to beat a three-win Lions team that has lost eight in a row in 11 of their last 12. Now, you cannot take them for granted. You have to stay on top of this thing. But all things considered, this team knows what is at stake, and it's that first round bye, something they've been gunning for for the last five years. All right, and also what is at stake in this game is a chance to sweep the NFC North, go 6-0 and against your division opponents, something the Packers haven't done since 2011. All right, Weston, who's your guy and why? It has to be Aaron Jones. He is 16 rushing yards away from his first 1,000-yard season and only one touchdown away from Amon Green's franchise record for total touchdowns in a season of 20. Two would surpass it. It is a big game for him, but for more than one reason. He also needs to play well for this offense and this running game to get where it needs to be. Aaron Jones, look for a heavy dose of him in this matchup. Yeah, and you know, he leads the league in touchdowns right now. The last Packer to do that was Jim Taylor back in 1962. So I've got one on the defensive side for you, but it's not just one guy. It's maybe any one of the Packers' three leading sackers. I'll say it for this reason. Back in 1998, Reggie White, Bonnie Holiday, and Keith McKenzie combined for 32 sacks. Reggie White won Defensive Player of the Year that year. Since sacks became official in 1982, that's the highest total by a Packers trio. Zadarius Smith, Preston Smith, Kenny Clark have 31 and a half. One more, they become the top dogs. Wes, I don't like to take anything for granted, but I say the Packers win this game simply if they don't turn the ball over. I think they're the better team. Three turnovers in the first half against the Minnesota Vikings could have spelled disaster. It didn't. Don't do that again. Yeah, Mike, and I think the Packers win this game if they just take Ford Field out of it. We've seen what that environment can be like when those fans are energized. They've had a rough season. The Lions have had a rough season. You get off to a fast start offensively, that gets you the victory. That gets you the first round. All right, and with that, we will sign off on this edition of Final Thoughts. Be sure to follow all of our coverage of Sunday afternoon's game from Detroit on Packers.com and on all of the social media channels. Thanks for watching, everybody. Enjoy the ball game.